Hey guys, it's Scott from Let's Play Easy Mode, and today we're gonna be diving back into the world of Tears of the Kingdom. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you're new here, then welcome to the channel. And if you're one of our regulars, then welcome back. Today we're gonna be diving back into the world of Tears of the Kingdom. And we have spent several episodes now just hanging out in the skies, just going from one sky island to the next, doing some exploration, doing shrines as we see them. Uh, we've got the gliding armor now, and uh, we're, we've made our way over from the eastern side of the map over to the western side. And there's still a lot to explore, but I do think our time in the skies is gonna wind down and possibly Possibly today will be our last episode, not forever in the Sky Islands, but for this this whole little section of the playthrough that we've been doing, uh, I know I've been very anxious to get down into the depths because there's so much to do down there, so much to uncover in the depths. And I'm feeling a lot more confident now. I know when I first entered the depths, I got kind of nervous. It was a little spooky and new. It was scary. I was I was like ready to go right around on Easy Boy and Hyrule. And then all of a sudden I was down, you know, 2,000 feet under the ground and the music was spooky and there were new creatures and I couldn't see anything. And all I had were these bright blooms to throw around. and. Now it's different. I'm on my second row of hearts. I've been playing the game for a while. Uh, I've realized that there's a lot down there that you can gain, and uh, there's some fun fun ways to play it. So I'm excited. And the last time I was down there in the depths, we were on Patreon. I do believe that footage made it to the main channel when I discovered Easy Bones. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, it was just a big skeletal horse that we ended up using, and it was a lot of fun. It still like reacted well to us, and you could still pet it, and it would give you hearts and everything, and I, or uh, love and all that. And I thought it was really cute. So uh, maybe we'll find Easy Bones again someday in the depths. But anyway, today we're not going down to the depths. We're gonna hang out in the skies still. Uh, we've got some places, significant-looking places on the map that we still need to explore, and we're gonna do that today. I hope you guys are excited for this. I know I am. If you are, do me a favor and click like on this video, and also uh, make sure to subscribe for more content. If you're not already a subscriber to Let's Play Easy Mode and you've been watching this series or any of the videos that we have here, man, it really would pay it back to the channel a lot if you hit that subscribe button. Definitely would, would help us uh, as a channel on YouTube. Also, make sure to hang out with us at Discord. If you're on Discord and you'd like to hang out with this amazingly awesome and welcoming community, uh, then make sure to check us out. The link for that's down below. And if you'd like to dive in deeper with me, maybe you're watching this. Maybe you're going, you know, Easy Mode has really meant something to me. Maybe you enjoy the community. Maybe you enjoy the live streams. Maybe uh, you've met some friends through this or whatever. Uh, maybe you're going, hey, you know what? We just want to support, you know, Venom-free gaming on YouTube where people just enjoy gaming and don't trash talk people. Well, if that's something you enjoy and uh, you enjoy what we do here, then I would encourage you to check out Patreon because you can get a whole lot more of it. Plus, have a chance to also support what you see. Uh, you can go there by checking out this link right here by going over to Patreon, uh, $5 a month. You won't have to wait anymore for videos to hit YouTube because they go to Patreon first. $10 a month, you get that, plus exclusive content, because we have games, uh, several games that we've accumulated over there now uh, in the library that are just for Patreon eyes only. But no matter what you sign up for, it's so much fun. If you do enjoy those live streams, uh, you can come hang out with us on Wednesday nights for our Patreon exclusive live stream, which is always a lot of fun as well. Uh, special thanks to our current list of Patreon Guys, thank you so much for your patronage, your support, your comments, and making that such a warm and welcoming place to be. If you're out there and you would like to support Let's Play Easy Mode, as well as get shout outs in all the videos, and uh, just be a part of a really cool part of the community over there, then make sure to hop on over and get signed up at Patreon today. All right, guys, without further ado, let's pick things back up on the Sky Islands and dive back into the world of Tears of the Kingdom. Well, okay guys, we are diving back into the world of Tears of the Kingdom and we are picking up right where we left off before where I said I was gonna do some cooking uh, off camera and I did um, to the point where I was like, okay, I'm getting kind of bored of this now. Uh, but you guys will see, I have, look at that, hardy wild greens. We've got plenty of stuff here as buffers that we can use. I also made sure I've got plenty of stamina foods 
So we've got a lot to add for stamina. I've also added a few things in case, you know, I keep changing my my gear uh, to go with the temperatures, which makes sense. But at the same time, if I want to keep a good fighting armor on without having to downgrade into something that will help me with the temperature changes, uh, I did make a few of these so that I can have cold and heat resistance if I need to as well. Um, and just a few of these other ones that are just simple heart fillers. Uh, so I'm gonna use those for right now. And then the next thing I actually wanna do is I want to fast travel real quickly before we go back up to where we were. Uh, I'm gonna go fast travel. Uh, where are you, where are you, where are you? Over here. I wanna fast travel. And you guys kept telling me that I should um, upgrade the gliding armor because by upgrading the entire set to a level two, I guess that's really all I need to do. But if I do that, that will get me that will give me the bonus of no falling damage. That's huge. So I'm gonna do that, and I'm also going to get that little extra buffer of health and uh, stamina by sleeping real quick at the stable while we're here. This has been my favorite fairy to go to because I feel like it's so easy to do it. Do you guys have a favorite fairy that you go to or a favorite stable that you tend to go to more than the others? I do, I tend to go this one more just because it's all like right here. All right, let's see if we can do this gliding armor or at least see what we need to upgrade. It makes me wonder if it's gonna be sky stuff that we get up there. Mm -hmm. Um. Oh, look at this. This is ready to go get upgraded. Um. Let's do. Actually, I'm gonna need those later. Okay. So there's the interesting. Okay. I don't have everything I'm gonna need. I'll do this one. Mm -hmm. huh. That needs to go up to a level two. But I'm gonna need more to upgrade the gliding armor. It said Aracuda wings or eyes or something like that. So definitely something I'm gonna have to go get, which makes sense, something that flies like that. Oh. Okay, so I've done that one. Some sets, yep. Um, mm. Enhance away. Oh. Let me see what else I'm gonna need. So that one's already been, um, Aracuda Eyeball, and Aracuda Eyeball. So we're gonna need a bunch of those. This one's the one we just did, uh, but Aracuda Eyeball. So we need a lot. We need six there, we only have two, so we need four and then we'll need 10, and that will give us to a level two of each one. So I need 10 Aracuda eyeballs. Okay, and the Aracuda, that is not, I, I get that mixed up with Keese, that's not the same, that's those big flying um, pterodactyl looking things, right? <laughs> um, well, I guess I could have upgraded the other thing too, let's see. Well, I'll do it later. I'm not using it anyway. Okay, let's go. Um, there we go. Let's go down here to the stable, and then we'll sleep, and then we'll go up to the skies. get that little extra buffer, just a few extra hearts. You know, we'll get that extra stamina because that will help us as we go from one island to the next. Ooh. Melania. Okay. Mm. Uh, morning, please. 
Get a nice, good, long rest for Link. Wow, I need to start selling some stuff too. Start getting my money back up. You know, I remember at this point in my playthrough with Breath of the Wild, I was pretty rich. I had sold a lot. I, money wasn't really a problem anymore. But in this, the stuff that I would normally sell for money, I find so much more reason to use, you know, with the fusion that we can do. Um, it, there's definitely more reason to not sell stuff. You know, the upgrades that we need. By now, I would have sold half the stuff I had, you know, or cooked a lot of it, but. Okay, so we've got Extra stamina and three extra hearts. Okay, we got rewards available. I'm not really too worried about them. Um, and now I want to go back to where we were. Let's go hit the skies. Um, okay, so we haven't done these. We haven't done this. And we gotta go check all this out here and there. I wonder if from here, you can see it's brighter. So that tells me that it's higher in the sky. So it makes me wonder if I could get here and then go down here or maybe even there's a, not just a boss fight or something, but maybe there's one of those um, shooting, propelling cannon things to shoot me over to here. And I bet you this is probably a construct fight. So there we go. That is laid before us. Oh yes, and this was, I put this here so I could get back to this area and travel north to that little island with the water. So let's go check that out. Hopefully it's not too cold. I can just wear my gliding. I could use the, the, uh, the recipes I just made to stay warm so I could wear my gliding outfit too without worry of being cold. I should put one a travel medallion on one of these really high islands. Well, here we go. Thanks guys for watching this video, hanging out with me. I appreciate you guys, I appreciate your time. I know there's a whole lot, oh yeah, I forgot this is the one with the anti-gravity um let's get right up to the top here Whee. <laughs> okay so what I'm looking at is getting over here I'm gonna put a little something there. Can I see it? Hello, beautiful looking flower. Um, kinda hard to tell, but I almost wonder if it's that down there. Hmm. I don't think it's much lower than what we are. Well, let's go find out. Definitely the lack of gravity up here certainly helps. And it's a good thing that we are wearing our um, armor that Keeps us warmer. Ah, okay. It's way down there. Okay. Well, first time here. Oh, there's a little frog. Don't go away, don't go away, there's an edge right there. He just died, okay. Well, let's go. Is that 
the frog. Got him. All right. Anyway. Just looking around, seeing what we have here. It's been such a peaceful playthrough these last few episodes, especially because of just spending time up here in the island. Um, you know, I remember when I first started this, I admit, I didn't like change. I'm not someone who likes change a lot. I do like improvements, but I don't like change. And because I became so attached to Breath of the Wild, um, I, I, there were certain aspects of Tears of the Kingdom I don't think I was ready for. Um, you know, I, I got really, like, especially like I talked about the, with the depths. I was like, that's not what I want. I want a spooky depths with my, my high rule, uh, you know, and being up here in the Sky Islands, it was, it was different. Um, now, kind of okay, because I've come to the acceptance now of enjoying this game uh, for what it is. And I really do appreciate you guys who have been so gracious in l allowing me, some of you guys have been, not everybody, <laughs> but most people, 99% of the people out there have been very gracious about allowing me to just play the game and learn. I know sometimes it can be frustrating uh, when there's a game you're passionate about and you're watching someone play it. Maybe they're playing it for the first time and they're not doing it the way that you enjoy it being played. And sometimes that kind of upset some people. And uh, and there's definitely been some people along the way who have, you know, uh, probably uh, wasted energy, <laughs> you know, getting so upset at me for not playing the game the way that they wanted me to or not discovering things fast enough. But so many of you guys have been, and really most of you guys have been very gracious to me and I really appreciate that as I've been trying to learn the ropes and, and, and develop it my style. Uh, you know, I mean, gosh, there, there's, I know uh, sometimes it's easy to watch something and say, hey, you would be doing it better if you did it this way, but I appreciate you guys. Oh, my word. Uh, that didn't work. That didn't work. So I was thinking that would... You know what, I actually, by the look of it, I put it on the rails, I didn't even notice. I don't even need the rails. But I am gonna need to jump off now and do that again. So, oops. <laughs> See, thank you for the grace of letting me make mistakes and, and play it my way, uh, which is usually filled with mistakes. <laughs> I recently, I, I I know sometimes uh, even just the way I, I've picked things up and moved them around when I'm building something. Like I get, it's so funny because you'll get excited and you'll be like, you know, oh man, I, I feel like I'm learning the game more now and I'm having even more fun with it than I was in the beginning. And and then, you know, I'll start kind of feeling like I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying the game now, and I'm getting more um, used to how Tears of the Kingdom works versus Breath of the Wild. And, you know, I think one of the things absolutely that comes with that is learning to build and start thinking through the psychology of Tears of the Kingdom. And... What's hilarious is I started getting really excited about the way I was building things. And then even in that, I would start getting comments going, you know, like, you know, you don't have to carry it that way. You can do this or you can do that or this, you know? And and sometimes I, I, I guess, you know, it's easy in my mind. I just project on comments like a tone, you know? And it gets easy to sit back and think, oh man, they're just frustrated with me again. There we go. This is the one I want. 
Let's dive down again, because that's fun! Ah! <laughs> okay, this time I may not have to uh, build a cart to go over there. Yeah, like sometimes like this, I'll show you. So like, see how I'm carrying it? I have taken so much flack for walking around with it that I'm not just doing this. You know, and then grab an item. And then stand still. Like I've had people like get rather upset that I would be walking things over. I can do that. I just, for me, it's the way I am in real life. I, I don't know, it's just the way I am, guys. I like to hold it close and I like to walk around. And I like to face things and do that. Now I'm not gonna do that again like that because that did not work for me last time. But I'm just showing you guys. Here we go. Um, you know, this is starting to make me think maybe I actually do need that. Now I kind of miss that anti-gravity. I wonder what's over there. If we'll get closer and the shrine will start going off. Hmm. Well, let's see if a rocket, just putting one on would help. Like that. It does. Okay, that got us up there. So we just had too much last time. Okay, so get some extra flowers. Oh, look at that. That's gonna be fun to play on. And where's that gonna take us? Does that take us? That brings us back here. Okay. There we go. We got some fans. Oh yeah, so we can definitely build a little something. Is this? That's where I need to go. Well, I wonder, I guess I would use this again. There, lock in the place. And I wonder, I could just use, the rocket seemed to be, yeah, I know what it is, guys. I just like lining it up this way. It's easier for me. All right. Ooh, but not like that. I don't think, well, maybe that would actually work, come to think of it. <laughs> I don't know. Let's find out. That did not work. Oh no, 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 no. That means I'm gonna have to start over again. Oh, big bummer. Oh no. I wasn't expecting, I shouldn't, I, actually, you know what? I wonder if it would have worked better if I had put it, instead of on the back, put it on the front of it and uh, man, here I am. And there's clearly something there to get. But. I got an idea, but I don't know if this is gonna work. It's gonna be a waste, maybe, to try it. But, oh my gosh, that's worth trying. Oh, I can't take it out. There was a part of me that was thinking, what if I dropped a hover stone right here, then I got on it, 
and then I could ascend to get up there. I was just trying to think out of the box. Unfortunately, uh, this doesn't, I don't think there's anything on the other side here to get into. It'd be cool if there was just a little platform or something. Link's cold, but he's putting out a sweat right now. Can't climb like that. No. Oh, bummer, bummer, bummer. Guys, we're doing this all over again. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. I've learned my lesson. Put the, I'm going to try the rocket on the front of the cart. Oh, look, and then there might be some more to explore north as well. This time I might just take the travel medallion and uh, change its position. Now, why do you think it's low gravity here but not over there? What's happening in, on the map? I don't know why I feel the need to do this, but uh I just haven't chopped a tree down for a while and sometimes you just gotta chop a tree. Run off the edge ain't doing it! Ah, I love it. Okay. You know what? Here's a better idea. <laughs> How novel. <laughs> Just float over to here and do it. Oh my goodness. Yep. Just go like this. I don't know why I'm making it so complicated. <laughs> Now, let's see what we're gonna find over here. It, it looks like there should be something. There is a chest. Now, I'm wondering, is this gonna be a sage's will? Or is this going to, is my sword back? Yes. Um, I love that master sword, especially now that I've got one hanging in the back here, or uh, sitting over there against the wall. Um, sage's will. Or old map. Maybe some armor. Who knows? Sage's will. Okay. We got three. We're going to be good for another upgrade. Okay. There is something down there. Oh, look at this, guys. Is that a... Oh, I thought that was a door for a minute, but... But you know what? That's fine, because we do have a send. There we go. We can go up. There's all those fans. That's so funny. I, I was thinking like, oh, I should just, you know, ride the cart over, which would have been just fine. Uh, but then I realized I was diving over and I was that much higher. All I needed to do was... Uh... Now this is lower. So let's go see what's over here. It is considerably lower, I believe. Some of these sky islands sit so low that they blend right in uh, with a regular ground when you're really high. 
Not drinking any of my usuals today, guys. I'm almost out of Madrinas. Uh, and I'm drinking a warm coffee, but my Let's Play Easy Mode mug is in the dishwasher. So today we're drinking Dunkin' Donuts Blueberry Muffin Coffee with a Dunkin' Donuts cup. Not sponsored at all by Dunkin' Donuts. Not that I would complain with being sponsored by Dunkin' Donuts. But I would much rather be sponsored by Madrinas. So what are we, oh, we got something we can build to use this, that's neat. Now I kind of wish I had just gone to the second island and then gone down rather than trying to go up. But that's okay, let's build something. Doing some exploring. If nothing else, we're getting a lot of that cool Saflina. So many of you guys have mentioned before, you know, like the Sky Islands are really fun to explore, but a lot of times you'll just see stuff on the map and be like, oh, what is that? And then you'll get there and you're like, mm, it's not actually much. Sometimes it's good for getting, if you, you know, if you're looking for Sundalions or whatever, but you know, like this is fun, but. There's only really nothing here other than materials to build something. So, um, which is fine. We shall build. See, I'm walking it over, guys. I know that's not everybody's favorite technique, but I enjoy it. So. Now, how many fans do I have? I'm assuming it's giving me everything I would need. See, I like to, it's like putting on a tire on your car. I like to have it close. Okay, send me up there. And I know you guys have told me too that uh, Unobo actually adds a lot of weight. <laughs> you know, one thing I never noticed was, can you choose which sages you bring with you? Or do you just turn them all off and all on? I don't remember seeing that. I'll look up there, that looks like a nice tree to go investigate. Maybe a Korok seed up there or something like that. There we are. And another treasure chest. So there is stuff to be gained. Sage's Will or Old Map? We've been getting a lot of both. Sage's Will. Now we're ready to upgrade. Okay, so when we go back to the house, we'll upgrade. The question is, what do we do next? I kind of feel like the, the two I've used the most are Yanobo and Tulin. And we've already upgraded Tulin. So I kind of feel like Yanobo is going to be the next one. Can I climb up here? I can. Sweet. Oh, it is a Korok. I'm gonna, well, nah, I'm not gonna work. I was gonna say I'm gonna change into my, oh, if he dies off, he's diving off on that island. There we go. There 
Here we go. Nice. In the last episode, I went and used like 34 seeds and cashed them in, and unfortunately, that none of that none of that part got captured. It was a whole lot of Hestu dancing for sure. I kind of just want to do this again, but this time I want to take it for another ride. I don't need to, but it looks like fun. Why can't I get up there? Here, let's go like this. Hey, it's not working. I'm being whiny. Good Lord in heaven. Let's go for a ride, roller coaster time! Woohoo! By the way, oh, there was more here. Is that something though? You never know. Oh, and there's that too. I wonder if I could have gotten there from here where the travel medallion is. That would be interesting to find out. Where is it? Hmm. Let's find out. Maybe that's a big boss fight? Don't know. Let's go see. Let's go see what we're gonna need to uh, to get to that other island. Looks like I think it's probably a flux fight. Okay. It's hard to tell. I don't think I see anything. Guys, I think that's still below us. It is. We can totally hit that. Here we go. Let's go check it out. Ooh, is that a flux or is that a could that be a gleok even because that those could be all uh i don't know like that whole surrounding looks like different because usually whenever we fought a flux I think it's almost always been like totally like flat plain ground and there hasn't been a lot of other stuff over there like pillars and things like that but I may be wrong so I'm wondering if we're gonna get over there in a second we're gonna see the graphic pop up you know uh, like it's we're gonna see the dragon nothing yet The assist, Tulin. I wonder if we're going to. It is a Gleok! I'm ready for this, guys. We're going to use a rocket to get up there. Well. We're gonna need, I think, Frost to fight him. 
which will be cool. I'm ready, guys. I'm not afraid of him. We look, at, look at this. We got all these hearts. We got buffers. We got good weapons. We, we're good. I got extra stamina. I can't tell. That looks like it's both electrical and flame. see you and I am not afraid yeah I see you all right let's start with something frosty really glad that um I'll do that again. Do that again. Well, there goes all my extra hearts I just had, huh? Gotta be careful. Can't stand still. Can't stand still. Actually, my other guys are helping a lot. Um, why not? Sure. Probably shooting the wrong ones. Hydromelon. Let's do it. And, and then I'm probably hitting him with all the wrong things. Oh! Um, so I don't want that. Oh, shoot. I'll tell you what. It is unbelievable. This is a King Gliok. Okay. You know what? I need some shield. If he hits me again, he's going to get me really close to death. So, let's, um... No. That's good. Peekaboo! Ice. Okay. Is that the. I just gotta figure out Splash Fruit, I bet. Yep. And then... And then, uh, we need a good weapon. Something really good. Wait, guys, it's, uh... Run, 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 run.
That strategy worked really well using the shield. Oops. And I wanna drop it. And I want to <laughs> try to do this in a way that Where is he? Okay, now, let's do... No, oh, wait, no, it didn't. I missed. Oh, I missed again. That missed again. I thought I could, I was lining up with him, but. No joke. I would I would bet I would be willing to bet the King Gliok is probably the hardest boss fight. What would you guys say? Let me know down in the comments. Am I am I right in thinking that he's harder? What's harder than a King Gliok in this game? Man, I hate wasting all that uh Get him. Oh, and now he's all back up and, and angry again. I gotta figure out. All right, now. <laughs> it's gonna take a while, I think. Uh, don't have a lot of those to spare. Where'd he go? He means business for sure. I maybe I should have gone higher. Um now this worked I thought this worked last time. Did ice fruit, spicy pepper, no. Come on now, where are they? This isn't working. Sorry guys, there's just so much to filter through here. I almost wish, another light, uh, improvement I think for me would be like if you could, Splash Fruit. That got him. I'm not gonna do that. Um, I must have run out. Oh, I did run out of the fire ones. Bummer, bummer, bummer. So 
I don't know how to do the ice one unless it's a spicy pepper. Uh, <laughs> oh no! Well, so much for all those buffers I just made, guys. All that food went to waste. I'm never going to beat him. I'm, I know, I'm already getting into self-doubt, but I'm trying to look at this practically. I'm running out of food, and I'm barely putting a dent in him. And uh, I feel really bad, because I'm just, I'm going to lose all my stuff. Like, all that food, I it took me like six episodes to collect all the hearty food and all that. It's all gone. It's gone, just like that. You know, it's going to be done but I'm gonna lose everything by the time I've I'm done with this Gleok okay um, I just I, I'm trying those strategies that you guys have been telling me about but I'm not really Oh, I lost my bow. He got me. Oh, no. Oh, gosh. Okay, I didn't realize I just died. It wasn't for, If it wasn't for the fairy. Uh, you know, I swore when I first saw one of these I was never actually going to fight one. And now, look at this. Thanks to you guys, now I'm wasting all my stuff. No. All of you guys trying to instill confidence in me. Um, except for the person out there who thinks I can't fuse anything right. Um, let's see. Oh my goodness. I maybe a do I have a bomb? Could I just use I don't have a bomb. Maybe a Gibdo bone or something? Ooh, ice cream. It's gonna give me what I need. Will it give me the other things I need too? I just don't know. Choo choo jelly? The terror of the choo choo jelly. Yeah, guys, he's not going down. He is not going down anytime soon. Plus, I don't do I don't shoot moving things. If if they're still, that's one thing. I do not have the dexterity to shoot something that's moving. Uh Clearly, ice fruit is something it wants me to use. Oh, annoying. Where's my bow? Okay. Oh, man. If, the thing is, if he hits me even just once, I'm gonna die from where I'm at with my health. Bummer, guys. All that food is gonna get wasted on this boss fight. If he doesn't give me something good, it's probably some stupid, like, rated one armor thing. Okay, let me try to climb up here. Great, now what do I use for the other thing? That's the only thing I can't figure out. I mean, for electricity, what do you use? I thought I had it right with this. And, but I don't have anything for the heat one. So what do I do? I need something that's gonna... Sapphire was cold. Ruby, where's Ruby? Ruby's hot. Spicy pepper, let's try a ruby. 
Ooh, that might be it. Oh, it didn't work! Bummer, bummer, bummer! Oh, it's that electric one again. He gets me every time. Uh... Come on, they're both down, I gotta get it. But he's moving. Oh, I can't do it! No, 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 no! I didn't mean to hit it. Oh, so incredibly hard. Oh, and, oh man. The thing that's hard is you can't, um, it's like you, I, I don't think I can, I haven't noticed his regular health going down. So it's kind of like if you can't get three heads down for him to crash down to the ground, you can't affect his base health, which is what you need to do. Um, man, I feel really bad that all my stuff is getting used up. I'd rather use it on Proving Ground Shrines, but now that means I'm gonna have to go grinding again up in the skies just to get hearty food. I don't have any bombs. This was not a smart decision. This was kind of stupid, actually. And I, I should have just saved it. Guys, I really should have saved it and then like at, on my approach. I only have six arrows left. Yeah, I'm done. Can't beat him without arrows. Oh, I should have. Was there an auto save? I just, I'm just curious. Did it auto save at some point? Yes, it auto saved at Lightcast Island. So this is when. This is when I fast traveled to jump over. It's only been four minutes. Um, oh, no, 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 okay. Oh, I don't know then. Like, no, that was a, a oh shoot. No, I can't do that. Guys, I am, I'm toast. I got nothing. I got nothing. Oh man. I don't even know what to use. I, I feel totally. It's taking so much to bring those things down. That did it. Come on, spin, spin. I'm trying to get him to spin, he won't do it. Oh, that did it. That's gonna kill me. Gosh, I don't even think, no, that's not even at the halfway point yet. I'm just gonna go through every single part I own. I don't have any more arrows! What do I do? What do you do if you don't have arrows? I don't know what to do. Um, I have nothing I can shoot at him. It's not like I can jump on his head and hit him with something. I ran out of stuff, guys. I ran out of stuff. I don't have anything I can do. Man. You know, it's hitting me, too, that, like... 
to really adequately play the game, I'm probably going to have to take a lot of time and just walk around and bash a bunch of boxes at stables and get arrows and try to build my arrow supply back up. I, I barely have any money, so I don't have enough money to just go buy a bunch of arrows, you know? Like, I could spend everything I have, but I'm still not going to get an, a lot. Um, which means I probably have a lot that I need to do as far as, like, without progressing any further in the game after this fight. There's probably a lot I have to do with just not really, like, not doing anything fun in the game. Just going and hitting a bunch of boxes and grinding and farming and stuff. I know a lot of people find that fun. I'm not much of a fan of grinding and farming. Yeah, I don't have a lot of time to play games, so I like it to feel like it's meaning something. Um, you know, I got enough real life grinding and farming to do. Um, anyway, I, it's hitting me now. I'm like, all right, I took on way, way too much. I got too, too confident. What could I possibly, man, I miss stasis. I miss stasis so much. I don't know. I wish Tulin would shoot some arrows. I have nothing to hit that with. I I keep instinctually going for arrows I don't have. Are there there's probably no nothing to get for arrows around here. I know the game gives you what you need, but it doesn't always. Um What's this over here? I haven't been over here yet. Could this be something we can use? I don't think I can get into it. Yeah, not yet. Not till it's gone. Not till that thing's dead. Well, without arrows, I don't know what to do. can't shoot him with Yonobo. Um, I think this is it, guys. But here's what I'm wondering. If I die, do I have a better chance of getting my stuff back than if I just leave right now? I wish there was a way to craft arrows. I don't know what to do. Nope, get off that stupid tree. All right. That's it. That was all there was for that. That that shield just broke. Um, shock emitter. Yeah, I mean, none of, this is all like, it'd be like throwing Nerf balls at him. I just wasn't prepared, guys. I had no idea it was gonna be a King Gliok. Maybe those those guys just hit the sky, I don't know. I'm just, going, I'm just gonna go run at it. At this point, it probably would, I'm wondering if, if I just let him kill me. If I'll at least, if I die, will I reset? See, if I leave, then I've lost everything. If I die, then maybe it will at least reset. So let's do that, let's die. I'm gonna die anyway if I stay here. I can't run up to him and attack him because he's got the wind. I could hit him with the Anobo. No, I can't. 
Oh, the stupid fairies are bringing me back. Stop, you fairy. Heck. There we go. Now let's see if it brings me, if it at least will like, give me what I had, or at least some of it. Like at the beginning of fight, like it would be awesome if I didn't lose much. Oh. Look at that! Yes! Okay, get out of here. We are not fighting this thing. We are done with that. No thank you. Um. And I'm gonna see, can I fast travel or do I have to, uh, will it not fast travel while I'm in the middle of fighting? I am so incredibly thankful that I didn't lose all that stuff. Because I, I don't know, I just feel like, I feel like that fight isn't worth it, you know? It uses up so many supplies, and what if I, what's it gonna be, just another Sage's Will? You know, like, another old map? What is, oh yeah, okay. All right. So, sorry, I don't mean to have a negative attitude. I'm just saying, you know, I, I clearly bit off way more than I'm capable of chewing. And uh, and I appreciate all the, the folks who have been like, oh, I bet you could do it. No, I can't. But um, I am looking forward to doing more exploration. And I hope you guys are in for that too. I know we went way up here and now we're going way down on the confidence and the energy and everything, but... Um, We do need, now I'm more, if it's a, it's a flux constructs are, are so much easier. So I gotta figure out. Oh, come on. I gotta deal with this right now. Where's he even shooting me from? All right. We gotta get over there maybe. travel there oh I'm so disappointed I'm sorry I just am that's just I, I am I'm really disappointed that I wasn't able to that I'm not I, I didn't have what I need I only have 40 something arrows like so many of you guys said they're like oh yeah just crack open the boxes and keep doing that and uh, you know yeah I maxed out my arrows I have not had that experience um, and maybe that's because I'm not just sitting here crashing stuff when I play all the time um, like people, there are people with more time than I have. They're able to just grind and farm and get parts and get their arrows up to a thousand or whatever. I don't have that kind of time. So we got to deal with what we have. That's the thing. Um, I got to play with what's given to me now. I, I don't have time to, uh, to go run around and aimlessly crack open boxes. That's the thing. Um, so... And if that means I don't fight the Gleox, I don't fight the Gleox. Let's see where we go. Uh, okay. Uh, oh. There we go. This right here. Maybe this will help us get to where we're going. Which I'm not, still not sure where it is we're going. I do want to take this marker off here because I'm not going back there again. And I think if I can get up here, I'll be doing good. Now, I bet this looks like there might be a shrine here. And that'll be awesome because I love the shrines. big circle 
Is that where we're going? Oh, that must be it right there. So where's... Wait a minute. Those clouds are all in my way. So what are all these? This must be the ball thing. I don't know. Let's see. Oh gosh, yeah, and the gravity. So I'm gonna go flying here in a second. But I'm not gonna get up there, that's the problem. There's another little Death Star in the air, but... The island I'm trying to get to... Is that, up there. Shoot! How do you do that? Is it, is it a sky tower that will get me there? Maybe this sky tower. Sorry. I don't know what I'm doing. Um. So this is clearly a shrine. Because probably whatever is there, you need to go into... There's the hole to the ball. So you go in there, in the Death Star, and get what you need to get there. We haven't been to any of these. Really good point was made, actually, in the comments that some of what I see here with Hero's Path that may seem slightly nonsensical is because of the amount of time I spent on the back of Zelda. Um, when I was farming for Dragon Parts, it was days and days and days worth of in-game time. And so to pull that off, I had to ride on her the whole time and she brought me all around the map. So actually in some ways, some of these lines don't look like they make a ton of sense and I'm wondering if it's because of the amount of time I spent writing on Zelda, you know, and uh, like this. Look at this line. That's clearly a dragon. That's got to be a dragon flying right there. Like, there's no way I did that. All right. Um... I'm not gonna make it to this. So I need to figure out another way up here. And the only way I can figure it is this sky tower here and see if this shoot uh, shoots it's high enough in the sky. feeling this isn't going to be high enough. Okay. I need to go to the green thing. Green marker. Still not high enough. So clearly I need to get somewhere Well, there's this. Wait, 
Is that where I was going? No. Okay, okay, okay. According to this, I've been here before, but it looks more like I didn't land on it. Oh, and there's one of those flowers too. Okay, well let's explore this, because this is tangible. Also think I'm back in the gravity. Anti-gravity stuff. Now that, here, might very well get me where I need to go, height-wise. Okay. Or this. what's up top. Come on. Be cool if you could crack that open it was like Yoshi or something. I also need to fuse something to my uh, my sword. I mean that's no. That didn't work. These don't offer anything, and nope, that's not what I wanted to do. And there's this. Is the goal here just to knock them all down? Oh my word, look! Look! It's here! The Silver Begoblin Horn! <laughs> Who would have thought that this would fall in exactly the same spot? Huzzah! Okay, uh, back up here. That's pretty cool. Uh, I'm gonna do what I normally do and take a picture of it. I think I'm just gonna have to go back to the tower though. To get back over to where I was. So there really wasn't much on those other islands we just landed on. But there was that. And eventually we're gonna talk to a guy about it, I guess. Once we get back to some side quests and stuff. I should say. 
this might work. I did the star. So we're here. Oh gosh, you know what? <sighs> okay. Let's see, where are we on the map right now? With All of this, none of this really amounted to much. Unless this is just a way to get up to these. It's possible that this That this is just to get us high enough again. Well, we'll in theory, I'm wondering, will two rockets go higher than one? And then I'm also wondering if you need to save a rocket. I think you do. Let's try it. And now use this one. Okay, this is actually a good idea now. That's where we need to go. You can tell there's a shrine there. We're finally high enough to get somewhere. And I think the thing to do at this point None of these have been visited. Maybe the thing to do is to go inside the ball because the ball may have something that can launch us up there. Let's see. keep looking at all these little things like there's those islands right there but do they amount to anything you know we're just gonna have to explore everything I gotta think that once we go inside the Death Star that gives us oh look at that that looks like something that can Help us go higher. Okay. Here's something cool. I think the shrine might actually be in here. Look, there's a, even a dispenser in here, too. Um, clearly, the shrine is right there. But wow, what a puzzle this is. Oh, 
Oh my word, and then there's those spinning things too. Now this does not seem to be affecting anything. So why is the question? Why is it not affect? Oh, this has a thing in the middle. This should at least affect this. Oh wait, no, I think. Okay, whoa. Something got affected. Yep. And that is going there. Which is going there. What if... No. I lost it. Ooh, it's very touchy. Okay. Will you push me up? Thank you. I mean, hard to tell. Changing the direction of a mirror. Okay, let's follow this a little bit. That does that. Is there a way I can affect this more? Sort of? this at something. Next. Once you stop and take your time, it may not be that hard. Be careful. to go out? I don't know. Because I have to be careful because once I start using this... The whole thing goes off. I 
heard something. <laughs> Trying to see where it. Oh! Shrine? Now. Okay. Now we have a shrine. For a second, I thought it was going to be a crystal, but then we were going to have to bring over. But no, this is a shrine, full shrine. All right, there we go. And there's a dispenser we can go check out. We did it. There's the shrine. Okay, so I want to go to the dispenser for a moment. If it's working. Oh, that's nice. It automatically came up with stuff to put in. Yay! Okay. More stuff. And let's do it again. Nice! Okay. Let's go check out the shrine. Oh, actually, let's make sure that... I got, I got it. Oh, there's a sled. That's cool. Bring me up, please. Beautiful. Look at that, guys, we got a shrine. Wonder if it's gonna be a proving ground shrine. We got all the buffers now. My coffee is good, but it would be so much better in a Let's Play Easy Mode mug. Guys, what if we don't finish the Sky Islands today? It's possible that's not gonna happen. Oh, we got a Roru's, Roru's, Roru, Ra'aru. Anyway, we have, we have R's blessing. A star fragment staff. Okay. I, I, I probably should be more excited about that than I am. I'm like, oh, just one of those. There we go. Oh, there we go. So, interesting. The shrine and everything was actually in the Death Star. So, what that big tall island I thought might this might be connected to and propel us up to is not the case. That, that one that's like northwest of us? I don't know what that is. Nor do I have any idea of how to even get there. Oh, wait a minute. What's this? That's something. What if I go up? And do this. Would... This doesn't... Oh, guys, look, up there. There's something up there. Oh, 
Okay, but look. How do you turn that? Because that is going to open up. And reflect probably down on that. So... How, what do you think is facing? We've done the shrine. Let's go back to the other way again. Okay. Okay. All right, now. How do I turn that? Gotta be a way to do it. Cause I if I can turn this somehow turn that light around to reflect on that maybe? If I can aim down. Is there a way I could use one of my own mirrors? Yep. Or maybe it's something else. This is just aimed off in a weird direction. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. Could this just go down to... No. One of these has got to aim. To that little... Yes, okay, okay. We didn't have to do anything else too extravagant. There we go. It's an old map. No, it's a sage's will. Well, now... There's the big hole to get out of here. How do you get out of here? I'm assuming it needs to be probably that tall, that tall one right there. Oh wait, no. Okay. Now where do we go? 
Because where I want to go is there. And I am not sure at all how to even start going in that direction. use this for sure. Guys, that, that might do it. Well, no, it's not. It's gonna get us up high enough to get to the other ones, though. And maybe we'll find a way to get up from here. That is so high. It's gotta be a little gadush thing, you know? Right there. Uh, down here. Maybe we can use that. <sighs> or this, actually, it looks like. All right. We're gonna get up there, guys. You watch. Ooh. Okay. It maybe it's the uh, it's all in my head, but I do kind of think using both rockets worked a little better. Ah, yes. There it is. Ooh. Let's do this and hit that Korok to dive down there. No, well, there's just a, a treasure chest. Here we go. Not bad. There. Yeah. We did it, guys. We did it. Let's go see what's over here. I am so incredibly thankful that 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 dying was actually the way to go and uh with the king gliok and it gave us our stuff back because i was tempted to just run away but then i would have lost everything i gotta attack that thing again but it's gonna be with a whole lot more arrows old map sages will what could it be old map 
we're gonna have a lot to try to find down there in the depths. Oh, look at that. I wonder if those are like X marks the spot, like right on the spot, or if some of that is, um, you know, like general area. Oh, look at this. That, I think that's a construct. change where our travel medallion is right now. Oh, get this guy too. Because this is really high. So let's go um, collect. Yep. In place. And now we've got a really high place to glide from. And even higher if we use these. Well, I say that we don't have any rockets. I mean, I could make some rockets, but. And let's go look around. Oh, there it is, right there. Great way to uh, investigate these places. Oh, I like it because we can get our height back to explore these other ones. If you don't offer a ton. There we go. Yeah, the island, we got some Stuff we can look at, and it's pretty and all, but unfortunately, it's just kind of there. It's not really offering anything else. So, one thing I am going to do now is fuse um, something. Let's frost horn, keep the one. Let's do this. Did I already fuse something with a master sword? Oh, I did, didn't I? I did. I, I did the uh, cat toy. All right, my bad. Sorry. Let's see what's, what's with these guys over here. Kind of just making the rounds now. Kind of glad it seems to be descending um, the height of the islands, which allows us to gradually explore them. going. Huh. 
Okay. Oh, we got a few things we can pick. There we go. Dazzle fruit. Um, and guys, let me know in the comments if there's anything that you see that you're like, oh, you missed something like a hanging treasure chest or something like that. Let me know. Oh, there's a bunch of those floating. Oh, wait, no. Well, wait a minute. I don't think that's... It's it's not helping me to crane my head around either, so I, I realize that. <laughs> Next. This one. If I need height too, I can do that with the uh, constructs. Or I can fight them and then use those platforms. Because they all got rockets on them. Okay, here we go. Come back. Well, there's really not much here. It's cool to look at, though. If for nothing else, I mean, the, these were developed by people who worked really hard on them. And uh, this gives us a chance to see what they made. Got an idea, that guy's got rockets. Let's go. Let's use that rocket to get some air time here. Okay. Cool. Uh, this will get us back up a little higher. Continuing on, we're uh, making the path, and then we're going to come f almost full circle, really. Literally a full circle. I'm very thankful for the rockets. Guys, I'm pretty sure there's nothing down there. I mean, if we're being honest, there's probably nothing around here to be to be gained by doing this. One more island that we haven't seen yet is this one. I'm, I don't think there's anything there, but I'm gonna go look. I'm gonna use these rockets to get some air time. There we go. And honestly, I'll be, uh, there's a couple of things I thought of checking out real quick, but I'm kind of hitting that point, guys, where I'm I'm ready, I think. Like, we've done a lot with these sky islands. Okay. 
And, uh... Yeah, we can get to that. And I think we're about ready, honestly, to start heading down into the depths. And I really hope you guys are ready for that ride. Now look, there's that circle. Oh, you guys can't see where I'm pointing on. Down here. That was on the map and that was undiscovered. That's where I said there was probably like a flux construct. All right, but we'll go down here and uh, take out this guy. Yeah, one thing I never actually noticed, but I've never actually asked it either. When a blood moon comes, it, to me, it wouldn't make sense that it also brings the constructs back to life, but does it? Because you would think a blood moon would just bring back to life, like, monsters. Not constructs of a totally different... Like, they're not, they're not really with Ganon, right? Pretty sure that is just going to be a lot of nothing. Let's do this. Uh, and then, the only thing we have left. Nope, that was a King Leoc. This, this, which again, I think are construct fights, and I'm totally open to doing that. Oh, and then these, these you gotta open up, and I can't remember what the deal is with them. Oh, and look, there's another star one. But we're just about done. We are, I think for now. I haven't been here yet. That's another one of those, and another star. Interesting. Let's go fight this thing, whatever it is. If it's a flux construct, it shouldn't be too, too bad. If it's another King Gleok, I might pass. If it's a regular Gleok, I might try it. Because the one, the only one I I beat so far was that Frost Gleok. Man, that that King Gleok sure was hard. Took a lot just to get his health down. Okay. 
wonder if that's like his version of a turtle going in a shell. Do the thing where you throw stuff. harder. Okay. That did not work. <laughs> Any recommendations? Oh, just take something out, for crying out loud. Ah, run! Oh! Thanks, whoever did that. Feel free to attack him. Where'd he go? Are we gonna start shooting stuff? I like it when he does that, because then I can use recall. Special thanks to Mikey for this assist. No! Oh, I messed up! I hate that! I messed up! Do it again. It's always me! I'm the reason why these things don't work. Okay, we did it! I didn't have anything for that. Uh, I'm not sure I have anything to... That'll make this stronger. For sure. I used my shield. By accident. <sighs> Guys, it's always me. It's always me. I'm always the problem. I just don't hit right buttons. I don't know what I'm doing. I get whiny. All right, I'm done. Here we go. Yep. Another Sage's Will. There. Guys, I'm not sure, but well, there's okay. That looks like there's something, doesn't it? I mean, that looks like. There is something that we either passed over on a dragon or we seriously ignored something really important. And here's the thing. We can get there really easy with this. All right. I thought we were about done, but I that, that looks substantial. That looks like there's a shrine there. And I love them shrines. Been playing this for a little while. Here we go. Can we make it?
make it. I think so. Yeah, that's where we... And what else is around here that we, we didn't look at this either? You know what? This is taller. So let's go here. Let's do this first. Because who knows, if there is a shrine, this might be the island that we need to go to anyway to get the crystal. If there's one of those crystals here. Either way, this is like a better idea. Or maybe there's a Korok or something. Wow. Okay. If nothing else, there's definitely some stuff to get. And according to Hero's Path, we haven't been here, but I feel like there was an island that was very similar to this. Here we go. A lot of chickadee tree nuts. There we go. Nice. I don't see anything that is a crystal, which is good, because I don't want to have to come back all the way over here. This could be a Korok, though. Let's go take a look. Oh, bird eggs. Okay. So we're going over here next. There's actually a little thing over there too. Can't tell if it's, it's not higher. Please, 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 Tulin! Oh, that was close. Oh, that was really close. But we got everything here that we're gonna need. Looks like there might be a dispenser here somewhere too. Yep. So this must have been something we just flew over, maybe with a dragon. There's a lot of beam emitters. Okay. So this is gonna shoot us, catapult us somewhere. We're gonna need to go. Um. Now I feel dumb. It 
it was here that we hadn't been. But we have done the shrine here. Okay. How did I read this wrong? Have you guys been like making fun of me at home going, oh my goodness, look, he's gonna see these. It was just this area. That's so weird. So where I haven't been is down there. Fair, I guess. We'll go. But I didn't do that dispenser. So let's just say this. It was good that I came here because it allowed me to cover the ground that I missed before. And, come over here I guess and, Nice. This sounds like a nice spring day up here. Huh? I don't see anything here, though. Guys? I mean, let's be honest, if we look at these other islands, are they above us? Yep. I would be willing to bet there's not much up there, though. Um. Hmm. higher is this one doesn't matter we can get up there using these And it will be fun. How am I gonna go? Of course I'm gonna use all of them. Alright, our last rocket trip. Oh good lord. I think we're gonna make it. Really? I think my batteries must have run out before that one. Yep. That's the island I haven't been to, but it doesn't look like there's much there. Here we go, guys. Oh 
maybe there's a treasure chest or something over here. Maybe another sage's will or old map. It's like there's a ramp, so there must be stuff to build. Yep. Okay. Okay. I actually wanted to go over here. to wait close there we go oh it's gonna burst there it is right there guys I'm not gonna make that but that's where that probably last construct fight is. But I bet you I can get there from here. Maybe not from the Room of Awakening, I don't know, but. Yeah, here we go. Something that's above ground. I mean, it's all above ground, it's in the skies, but I think that Room of Awakening was exactly that. It was like inside and we gotta find our way outside. And then this is it, this is it. We're gonna be done with the skies for now after we do this, this last construct fight. Once Link's done climbing. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. There we go, we got that. I remember when we were jumping off and exploring the Sky Islands before, and I think I saw that in the distance, and I think at the time I might have been thinking, oh, there's another Gleok, I don't wanna mess with him or whatever, but. Now I know it's mostly constructs. And it's also constructs are when everything is flat so far. That's why I've noticed if it's flat and there's not a lot of other stuff, like I think the Gleok, like you get a lot of pillars and things like that around there because you need them. Uh, it allows you to hide, kind of bob and weave, duck, and then be able to climb those and then use the, the bullet time. Where with this, it's a little different. I 
don't really need those for this guy. I wonder if he's a flux three or or what? Oh, look at that, he is. I'm going right on him right here. It's right there at the top. Dude, he's a three. He is a three, and we're taking it to him from a sneak attack. Oh, I almost had him, just like that. Oh, we got it. He's gonna do the shooty thing. Sweet. How cool would it be to take out a flux Oh no! Oh, this spun. There we go. Okay, go up. Got him. Nice, guys, that was the fastest. That was the way to do it. It reminded me of the old days with the Hinox where we would um, come down slowly on top of him, paraglide down, and then use Urbosa's Fury and take him out like really early. And uh, that's what this reminded me of. We were able to kind of cling to him. Oh, you know this time I'm gonna do this the right way. There we go. Um. That was cool. Oh, we used the Master Sword, so let's go back to this. Sage's Will? Yep, Sage's Will. Wow, there's only one more. And I'm sure there's more places to find them. I'm assuming they're all in the sky. Unless any of them are where the old map X X's are, but I doubt it. Why would a sage's will be down in the depths? Um. All right, guys. You know, some of them may be in here too, and we just haven't figured out how to do these yet. But oh, and then there's that one, and that's a sage's will too. You can tell. Unfortunately, I'm not sure that Skyview Tower can get me there. That would be cool if it could. Uh, but, so we have this one, this one. We still have some stars. But, gosh, and these, these labyrinth sky puzzles are something too. If it's shaped like this, I think that's the Gleok, because that was a Gleok, and this was a Gleok. Oh, wait, so, oh, you know what, guys? I guarantee you this is a Gleok, and then, is there one up here? Oh, no, that was a Construct. I don't know, maybe there's only three King Gleox, but I bet you as far off as it is, the distance and over there, it wouldn't surprise me if it was, but. All right, guys. Um, dang it. It's so tempting to glide down to that and fight whatever it is. Um.
We'd have to... Did I, I... Yeah, I pretty... Well, you know, it's funny. I actually did not explore these. That's a ball. Is that not a ball? No, I don't know. It looked like it could be, but I guess not. Um, And there's something there, too. Guys, these sky islands just keep bringing more and more. But Okay, so here's, here's what we're going to do. Uh, I would actually... I'm having fun with these. I would actually like a break from them, though. We've been in the sky islands now for a while. Um, and so what we're going to do is... We're gonna we're gonna go build ourselves up down the depths. We have a lot to do here. Um, in the depths. So this is definitely where to go next. I think that was where we first enter into the depths. The very, very first time. From the skies from to down below. gonna worry about wearing this uh, we want to be prepared oh, you know what miners trousers and we could upgrade these too Well, it would be the same, but it would give us a little bit of light, and I don't mind that. So we're going back to our stupid-looking pants. We can't upgrade them, too. All right, let's save it. And this is going to be the end of this episode. Well, okay, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. And, you know, I, the more you look at that map, the more you find these little tiny islands that you skip over, you know, when you're trying to explore everything. Clearly, we've still got some big stuff. I think we still have uh, at least, I think there's, I can't remember how many you guys told me. I think there's three, based on what I'm seeing with the islands, I would bet there are three King Gliox up in the sky. Um, there's definitely some more flux constructs, but I kind of wanted to end it on a high note anyway Because that was really cool when we beat that flux construct 3 with the way we did you know Dropping in from above and he was almost gone before we even got off of him. That was awesome um, And then uh, I mean, I think we cleaned a lot of that up um, We'll go back to the skies eventually. I just need a break from the skies um, We've been up there for a while. I've been looking forward to kind of trying to complete those as much as I can and, uh, and and then move on to other parts. We have so much to explore down the depths. And I'll be honest with you, I don't think it's gonna be a matter of, like with the skies where I'm, I'm gonna use Hero's Path, but I don't think it's gonna be one of those things where we're gonna stay in the depths until we use Hero's Path and explore every single little inch. Um, we're probably gonna do a really large portion of the depths and then just take a break from them and then go back up and then actually get back up on regular Hyrule and do some side quests that have been sitting there. Maybe find some treasures and do some shrines and things like that. Uh, and then and then we'll go back to the depths and we'll kind of bounce around a little bit. I just really wanted to get down there because as you can see, so little of the map is unlocked, which means we've barely touched most of it. And I think it's time, you know, it's time to continue on fighting the Yiga boss. It's time to, uh, continue gathering Zonite now so we can upgrade our battery and just have it on hand. So I'm excited to do that. 
and I hope you guys are excited for it too. We will get into that the next time we play this game. Uh, but uh, if you did enjoy this, do me a favor and drop a like on this video and also subscribe for more content if you're not already a subscriber. Uh, hang out with us at Discord. We'd love to see you over there. And if you'd like to dive in deeper with me, make sure to hop on over and get signed up at Patreon by going to this link right here. Guys, it was a real joy. Sorry I didn't beat that King Gleok. Oh, he was he was hard. He was tough. And I, I realized, like, I just don't have the arrows for this. I will say this. I might have stood a chance if I hadn't run out of arrows. If I went in there with at least double what I had, I don't know. Maybe we could have done it. Uh, I, I think it requires a lot. Um, and I, I need more strategies. I actually think I'm going to read about it. Like, you guys have done well with me with, like, saying, hey, use this or, you know, make sure you're getting air time. I just need to figure out what it is I need to fuse on the arrows to really make an impact. And I started realizing towards the end there that instead of trying to counteract the ele with elemental items, just using, like, construct parts was bringing his health down more but then I ran out of arrows. So maybe that's what I need to do is just build up a bunch of those Gibdo bones and construct parts and use those to affect its health and then just start wailing away on it. Because when, when he hit the ground, man, I was, I was using a rated 61 weapon and it was like eh, 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 so little uh, on his health. So, I mean, they're hard, they are tough. And again, answer, answer that question I had um, in the comments. Uh, is he... I'd be curious to find out from you guys, is King Gleok the hardest boss in the game? Because I remember a lot of people when I was getting ready to fight Ganon thinking he would be, everybody was like, nope, nope, Lionels are harder or whatever, you know? So I'm curious if King Gleok is harder uh, than Ganon will be in the end. And also, uh, is it, I, have, I still haven't fought a Lionel yet. Guys, of all the things, I, I think I've seen one Lionel from a distance in this entire playthrough. However many hours I've been playing this game, I've only seen one Lionel in this entire game so far. Where are they? I don't know. Uh, it's kind of crazy. I almost feel like I'm going to go through this whole, you know, uh, playthrough without facing one at this rate. But um, we'll find them eventually. I know they're out there. You guys keep telling me the Lionels are out there. I've used their bows. I find the Lionel bows, but I haven't had to beat a Lionel to get one. So I don't know. We'll find out. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I love you all, and I will talk to you soon. But until then, take it easy.